What is up guys, today I've got something really special, it's the white BlackBerry Z30. Uh, you guys heard me correct, it's the white BlackBerry Z30. Uh, thanks to one of my special friends, uh, he managed to hook this up for me. Uh, special thank you, you know who you so are. This is the box, if you look to this side you could just see that BlackBerry logo, Z30, and uh, I won't show too much of this stuff on the side here. It's basically your SIM and IMEI number, and I don't really want you guys to know about that. Uh, this version was made in Mexico, uh, so what's up to all the people in Mexico for making this happen? And at the back of the box you could see uh, BlackBerry, Qualcomm. Previously, uh, what was really cool was previously they had RIM here for the Q10 and Z30 and uh, in the Z30 box that I unboxed previously so that's a really good interesting thing so let's get to it so as you guys can see as usual I show you guys that the box is actually sealed and uh, provided that now it's sealed uh, let's get it cut open as always so knife in cut I really love cutting uh, blackberry boxes it's so nice and uh, let's da 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 the piece de resistance there we have it the white Z30 and if you guys are wondering what camera I'm using I'm using the Q10's camera so let me know how that goes so this is a white Z30 you can see it's a little uh, opened out there but that's fine uh, let's open the box here and let's see what else we have inside actually let's just empty everything out uh, you know, so the box is empty. It's officially empty. So let's get all this stuff out. So what we have here, it's uh, some manuals and some literature. So, you know, it's BlackBerry 10. If you're using a BlackBerry 10, you know we ain't got time for this stuff. So you got it in English, French, and Spanish. So definitely going to be more than bilingual. And this is what's inside, how to insert your SIM card. How to insert your micro SD card, your getting started guide. To the back of it, you have all the swipe gestures. As you guys can know, like you can hear it in my voice right now, I'm way too excited for this. I'm way too excited. So let's look at, let's see what else we got here. We got a micro USB cable, we got uh, the plug. Uh, I'll open it up just so you guys can see how it looks. You see the plug there. And this is definitely a new design compared to the Q10, so this will be charging. If you have a Q10 phone and you have a Z30, use a charger. It's going to be charging your device a little bit faster. We have the earbuds. Uh, you know, I don't really open these because, let's face it, like, you're... This thing got five speakers. Like, what, what more do you want? So this is the Z30 White. Look at that. Just look at it. Just look the back of the device what we could see here is the 8 megapixel camera it's a and they, they give you some details about the actual device where the micro SD and micro sims goes in too and at the front what we do have here it's a 5 inch display uh, it's not 1080p it's 720p uh, supported and everything is uh, pretty new so let's get to it so let the peeling begin Oh, hear that magic. Oh, I'm in love right now. So let's hear this one now. Uh, not too much noise, not too much noise, but still, you know, you know how it is. So let's clip this sucker in. And last but not least, the famous BlackBerry screen tab. So... Let's power this device on. I'm not sure if it's going to have any power on it. So this device is going to be running on BlackBerry 10.2.1. Uh, it's going to work for Canada as well. The white Z30. Q30 is coming soon. Anyways, but one thing I want you guys to know is if you look at the back cover, it doesn't have that uh, woven glass. It's all plastic. So I'm not sure how this is going to stand up to, to dirty fingers and greasy surfaces and stuff like that. Currently the device is loading up, so we'll just let this go through its normal process. So the actual specifications of the device is 140.7 millimeters long by 72 millimeters uh, wide by 9.4 millimeters 
thin. That's really thin, by the way, uh, for a device of this magnitude. Uh, it weighs 170 grams. It's a bit heavy compared to other devices on the market right now. Uh, it, it's a 1280 by 720 with a 294 ppi or pixels per inch for all of you out there it does feature lte on board uh, it does support uh hspa uh wi-fi hotspot a b g and n and also it has a panatech uh wireless antenna inside so which is going to make uh connecting the device to wireless networks a lot better and you'd actually see that rub off on the battery life uh to the back of the device like i said it had an 8 megapixel camera which takes uh 3264 by 2440 8 pixels per inch. It's an autofocus uh, or drag to focus if you want to call it. At the front we have a 2 megapixel 720p uh, 30 frames per second camera. Uh, it does a pretty reasonable job. Uh, in terms of specs though, in terms of the hardware, it does have 2 gigabytes of RAM on board. It has a Qualcomm MSM896 uh, 0T Pro Snapdragon processor, which has a dual core 1.7 crate processor. The GPU on this unit, however, it's a quad core GPU, so you're going to get really good performance in gaming, but you get a really good balance between battery life. In terms of battery life, you got 2880 milliampere hour of battery life. Uh, in some variants of this unit, this is the F, uh, well, SDA105, and this ha this does not support wireless charging, but other units does support it in the US, like the SDA103 uh, and 4. Uh, this hall, it does have all the sensors, such as accelerometer, gyroscope, uh, proximity sensor, and all that stuff for making games. Uh, that much more enjoyable. The price tag of this upon release last year was about 650 bucks. Right now you can pick it up on Shop Blackberry for 499 if I'm correct. And uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty good, a pretty, pretty fair price to be honest with you for a device of this caliber. This device is a really strong, really powerful device. It's the most powerful BlackBerry there yet. I did a video on this, on I did a review on this phone, the black one. Also, I did uh, uh, basically benchmarks for it, and it actually beat out the Nexus 4 and iPhone 4 and 5, 4s. So uh, it's definitely a very powerful phone. This has been the unboxing of the BlackBerry Z30. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, this video was recorded on the Q10's camera. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I did a review for the Z30, so I'm not going to do a review. I may be doing comparisons between the Z30 and the HTC One M8. I also did an unboxing of this. Review's coming up shortly. And uh, if you guys just want a quick comparison of all the devices here, so you could see, oh, you could see, the HTC is definitely thinner. Definitely thinner. But, uh, is it better? <laughs> That's the question. And this is the next to the Nexus 5, you can see. Nexus 5 is a, is, is slightly thinner, but, uh, you know, it's actually smaller than the Z30, if you guys can see that. Anyways, guys, so be sure to stay tuned. Uh, I got the Samsung Galaxy S5 coming in as well. So we're going to have a big, big showdown, maybe even a smackdown uh, off these devices. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for this. I'm really pumped for this, guys. See you guys in the next video.